Well, improvisation is probably at the foundation of what I love about playing guitar and playing music. It's the ability to react to other musicians and express yourself in a way that is at that exact moment of playing. So like if, if another member in the band um, does something rhythmically or musically, I can react to that. It makes it much more organic, something more natural. And uh, it's actually something that um, is very important to this project. When I originally met Nay, um, I was completely blown away by the fact that that he shared my same love of improvisational music. And uh, not only that, it helps the fact that he, uh, that Al Miola, one of my personal favorites, uh, really um, so I had a lot, a lot of really nice things to say about Nay. But uh, reacting to the musician, the other musicians, is just incredibly important. Um, melodically, rhythmically. So that's, that's what I feel about improvisation and why it's important. Well, Matthew Mills is a, a phenomenon. He, um, besides being recognized by players such as Steve Vai, Bumblefoot, he was also voted by um, Guitar World magazine, one of the 50 greatest fretters of all time, musical fretters. And uh, he's done some things with harmony and uh, the technical development of the instrument that are unprecedented. So for me it was um, uh, an unexpected uh, honor and treat to be invited to be part of the American Guitar Trio and uh, in such uh, an amazing company. Um, which actually is very interesting but it also helps to push my playing as well. You know. Felipe or Felipe Cantuaria is um, a rare example of a musician who's just turning 23 that has the experience of uh, peers that are twice, three times his age. Um, that's something that can only happen through the natural evolution of the individual. It's something you can't teach. You can teach it, but whether the person receives it, understands it, and can realize it is another matter. That's a question of personal evolutional state. And so, at times, there are rare individuals who have that. And we were very lucky to run into Felipe because it took us a while to find the third element of this trio. Uh, being that uh, we had some amazing candidates, but they were very busy with other projects. Others lived across the country. And even then, there was just, we were down to two. And um, so time went by and we uh, were thrilled Felipe showed up. He's developed in the realms of rhythm, harmony, timekeeping, dynamics, uh, melodicism, uh, improvisation, and all that on the acoustic guitar, which is multiplies the difficulty level by more or less 10, a factor of 10, and hence the difficulty that we had. So for me, it's just like paradise to be involved in this project and I'm looking forward to what we can accomplish. Thank you. 
Well, I grew up listening to classic rock, uh, some punk, some ska. Um, at home, my parents were always playing bossa nova music. I got into college and started listening to more jazz. I started studying uh, classical style and, you know, blues, all forms of different rock, all that, you know, combining into what I like to play nowadays. Uh, improvisation is a big part of that as well, just because that's where everything gets funneled through me and comes out as my own stuff.